Okay, so we got the first of the overhead cabinets installed. Uh, installed and actually already in use. I'm uh, using it to store all my tools and junk up there now, keep them off the floor. But uh, yeah, it's going to work pretty well. Those shelves are uh, actually loose up in there. Could move them around if we need to. We'll kind of fine tune that as we load it up and figure out where things go. But got a lot of good space up here. Okay, we're getting to the point now. I'm just uh, mocking up the bathroom. So you can see the refrigerator right here. It's looking toward the back of the unit with the, um, well, the clamp that just fell off, but that's okay. It's walls are staying up. Um, so that's the, the cargo door in the back. They're going down. So what I've got is a three-piece wall here. Just got them clamped up there right now. Actually, I did have them clamped before the clamp fell. Then you could see, uh, that's the black water tank right here. So what, it, what I'm doing is I don't want it underneath the camper because it sticks down too far and I'm afraid I'll catch it on something on a curb or something someday. So what I wanted to do was just put it down here on top of the floor. It's going to be a lot better supported. I don't have to worry about the straps rusting off like you see all those uh, the uh, pre-made ones are always seem like they're going to fall. So I've got the tank down here underneath. The floor will just go on top of that. I'm just going to run some quick um, plywood joists over top of it. I'm going to make some like, structural joists for it. And then um, these two walls, this this wall here, this front wall, and this side wall over here, those will both be removable. And the reason I'm doing that is so... Let me back up here and show you. When I take those out, I still have a pretty good opening from that back door when I put the big back door down to get uh, big items in and out of here. So we can still haul things uh, and actually use it as a trailer sometimes too. So um, just the false floor will be in the way, but you, would, you know you can get over that pretty easily. So that's the plan right now. Okay, so the black water tank is now uh, sitting in the bathroom here. I've got it uh, just kind of fastened in with some cleats fastened to the floor. That's going to keep it from sliding around, and then. Uh, you can see along the edges here I've put uh, some more supports here that's going to support the floor as we go in. Um, because this wall on the left here is removable, I just uh, attached these onto kind of like a separate uh, wall or a separate uh, support so those can go out. And next I've got to figure out uh, how to get the, the plumbing down through the floor and everything too. And normally these tanks sit um, underneath the camper are supported by straps, but I didn't want to do that in this case. Uh, I think I talked about that already. But anyway, um, yeah, the scary part is going to be cutting the hole in the floor and getting down through there. But we'll get there. It's looking pretty good in here, though. Also on the bathroom wall, and I ended up uh, we put the switch on the outside. That way, uh, if you're inside taking a shower or anything, we don't have to worry about that getting wet. I just was really concerned about that. So, uh, so the light switch is here. Um, and then uh, also put in a switch for the fan. Um, so this fan is one of those that uh, has a remote control. So whenever it's on, it's using power. And if we're off uh, on battery power, I really don't want that thing using up energy when I don't need it to. So basically we just flip the switch off and um, it will just, you know, sit there and stand by. But uh, when we're plugged in, I can leave that on and then we can use the remote and it'll, it'll automatically turn itself on and off with the, when it gets hot in here and that sort of thing. So just one more thing I thought of at the last minute. Luckily I was able to dig a hole into the wall to get to that wire because I still knew where it was. And then uh, run that back through this wall. Um, the hole inside of here is going to get covered with corrugated metal anyway, so if I have a little hole back there, it's not going to matter at all. Just consider that an easy access point. Okay, we're looking at the, um, the black water tank now in the bathroom in the back of the camper here. And um, I've got the, the rim that the floor is going to sit on. You can kind of see all the way along here. You can see how that tank is actually tipped. You know, this is this is the outlet right here. It's supposed to all be coming this way, but it's just the way these tanks are made. They're kind of wanky sometimes. So um, I'm going to put some shims up underneath there. 
And then I'm going to uh, use some of this uh, great stuff and try to like basically spray a foam base underneath here just to support that, get it to go the right way. They want these tanks to be fully supported all the way through, so you know, I'll put some wood shims in there to hold the, the edges of it, but then that foam will help keep it in place and actually help keep it from rocking around and stuff too. So that's the next plan, see how that works. Okay, I'm just ready to put the foam down right now. I put um, a layer of plastic down just so the foam doesn't stick to anything in case I need to move it later or ever change anything. This stuff's pretty sticky and it'll let it release. I'm also going to put uh, another piece on top before I set the tank in there. Again, that'll keep it from preventing, um, you know, keep it from sticking to the tank as well. So. That's what I'm going to head to next and see how that works. Okay, so I've got the spray foam in there. Went ahead and put the tank back in and then I put the, uh, the floor down just loosely just to hold the foam in place. We'll see how that cures. Hopefully it works. <laughs> 